Last month's World Cup in South Africa was a stunning moment for sport across the globe. And despite cheering enthusiastically throughout the event, many Canadians were left feeling out in the cold when it came to choosing a team. Canada hasn't qualified for the World Cup since 1986, when an unlikely squad made it, yet failed to score a single goal. So why is it that, in a country where twice as many children play soccer than hockey, we fail to produce professional soccer players? There are three major problems in regards to soccer in Canada. The absence of a national league, for one. Three pro teams are not nearly enough. The second point is that kids have too few options when it comes to playing at a higher level. Finally, the gap between elite players and the rest is too big. If you're not at the top, your options are limited if you wish to develop your talent. Players are not necessarily at their best at 17 or 18 years old. The Canadian climate poses an additional challenge to player development. Brigitte Fro, director of Soccer Quebec, says that because the playing season is so short and interior facilities are hard to come by, many young Canadian players simply don't have the opportunity to develop properly. We're in the process of trying to build a more competitive generation in order to have better players because they're able to play for more of the year. For example, the Quebec Elite Soccer League starts in May and they're considering starting in April and running to October. That's nearly six months of practice, which is a bit like hockey's eight months. That'll be the first step, which will allow us in a few years to say, wow, we're developing better players because they're playing longer. I think the culture in Canada for soccer is, is certainly not where it is for a lot of other countries. I mean, hockey is our sport of passion, and uh, I don't see that changing in, in the short term. You know, things we can do, you know, provide more facilities and more opportunities for training, more opportunities for training at a high level. I think that's really the best thing we can do at this point, and hopefully, you know, produce better teams that will eventually change the culture in, in Canada to, uh, you know, accept soccer, I guess, more as a, a national sport. Soccer Canada scout Sean Fleming sees Canadian soccer on the rise. Despite the challenges Canada faces, advances are being made. The growing popularity of Major League Soccer is providing young players with something to aspire to. Well, I think a big part of that is going to be the MLS teams that are coming in. With Montreal in 2012, Vancouver next year, and Toronto, of course, obviously being in. Now there's the USL team in Edmonton. I think that helps a lot in terms of getting some point of a structure and then having their teams have uh, youth development systems and uh, CSA and the provincial associations working with those pro clubs uh, to help with the player development. I think will only help then, hopefully have clubs then below them to try and produce players that will go on to the clubs. So I think it's like anything with the players, if they can see there's an end to a means, that it's better that they probably stick with the game. And the drive to create such intermediary leagues exists among provincial officials whose only goal is to build Canada into a global contender in soccer. Our goal at the Soccer Federation, like all Quebec federations, is to try to have the most athletes on national teams and to have the best players, the best coaches and the best referees. That's our goal. Ishmael is a 16-year-old player hoping to break into the MLS with the Montreal Impact and he already plays with their farm team. He hopes to play professional someday and even represent Canada on the world stage. I want to maybe play with the, the, the Impact because now I'm with the, the Impact Academy. Um, I want to keep working hard with the Quebec team and maybe the national team if I get the, to, to, if I do the team. Um, I want to maybe play in Europe if I get the chance to. And uh, I just want to keep working hard for the moment. The focus remains on the players. Supporting and developing young talent through a national system is key to achieving Canada's soccer dreams. Fortunately, many young players have set their sights high. I'm aiming for the Olympics in 2012, which are the closest for me. And considering my age, it's a long shot. But I believe in my chances, and I'm constantly training to achieve my goals. Yet despite the tremendous advances being made, Fleming advocates for patience. Building a World Cup contender doesn't happen overnight. So it's slowly but surely uh, going to happen. But I think that, you know, you started baby steps. I think in the past, too many times we've tried to maybe go a little bit too fast, and we should. But I think if you have that solid infrastructure, that's going to be a big part to creating where it's going to be solid at the top as well. So despite the obstacles, Canadian soccer is indeed making progress. With the advent of Major League Soccer and increased dedication from provincial soccer organizations, it would appear as if Canada is heading towards its second World Cup appearance in the near future. All it takes 
our baby steps. For Concordia Press, I'm John Stocks.